What's up, crypto tubers? Jimmy J coming back at you again. As you guys will have noticed, I've started to get a bit more active and planning on releasing more videos, trying to get back into a, a daily routine of bringing you guys good stuff. I just wanted to drop something quickly to this will probably only apply to uh, to the Australians out there who know about CoinSpot. And I'm sure everybody's familiar with the, the conundrum that we have with CoinSpot because um, on one hand, they have very high fees and their prices seem to be a lot higher than everywhere else. But on the other hand, they have a huge assortment of crypto, a huge assortment of altcoins ready for you to just grab just at the drop of the hat if you ever need to quickly buy any any particular altcoin um, or whatever. So I actually recently just discovered a way to get around those big fees that they have there. So what you should do and what I've what I've started doing is say for example you want to really quick up you want to really quickly pick up some some old coin like you want to grab yourself some I don't know some some vert coin or whatever it is you want to grab um, and you don't want to go through the process of buying your Bitcoin from Coinbase or wherever else you buy your Bitcoin and sending it to Bit T Rex and buying it from there or whatever what you can do is you can go to CoinSpot buy that old coin hold it on CoinSpot you know provided it's not a hundred thousand dollars worth or whatnot it's not a crazy amount hold it on there of course we all know we've got to have two-factor authentication turned on as always that should be the first thing you're doing um, whenever signing up to any exchange but hold the coin on coin spot and then when you're ready to sell make sure you sell the coin on coin spot because you get that's when you get their prices back and those those higher prices that they have you'll actually receive those prices back um, the same as when you bought them. The problem arises when you buy the coins on CoinSpot and then send the coins out of CoinSpot somewhere else. That's when you get hit with the fees and that's when eventually wherever you send the coins, they're now worth less because they're not, you can't get the, the prices that CoinSpot offers for them. And what my, uh, my cousin alerted me to the other day was that if you buy the coins on CoinSpot, sell them on CoinSpot, and then withdraw the AU dollar into your bank account off CoinSpot, you actually don't get hit with the fees. They don't have those big fees to withdraw the actual AU dollar out of your CoinSpot account. So I thought that was pretty cool and that um, enables us to, to be able to um, still use you know the convenience of being able to buy all those different altcoins at the drop of a hat when we need them. Um, without having to worry about those those crazy humongous fees because eventually ultimately when you sell them You're selling them on CoinSpot anyway So you're getting those high CoinSpot prices back for them anyway And then just by withdrawing that AU dollar you don't get hit with those fees So just a quick tip uh, I know a lot of you guys are from other parts of the world America and whatnot um, But this is specifically for the Australians who are thinking about where to buy their Bitcoin um, for those of you who haven't bought Bitcoin yet, um, as I said in my last video, you have you have a couple of different options. CoinSpot's a good one for beginners, just because it has that range of of, of different coins available, um, and this is the method that you should use if you do end up going with CoinSpot to buy some Bitcoin. So, um, if you want to go the slightly more complicated route, you can do go things like Coinbase or or any other exchanges and just buy some Bitcoin or some Ethereum or Litecoin or whatever it is. Uh, and then send it to somewhere like uh, you know Bit Rex or or, or what, whatever other exchange you choose. But that's probably going to come a bit later when you get a little bit more competent with things. So uh, look, I do recommend CoinSpot for beginners, for people who are just wanting to get their feet wet in the crypto space and just wanting to buy a little bit of crypto, um, just to have their hands on some Bitcoin and, and some other altcoins and stuff like that. So see you guys soon. Uh, pretty cool stuff happening with Litecoin. Want to have a little chat about Litecoin soon, but I'm going to go off and make some food. Um, good to see you guys again, and I will chat to you soon. Jimmy J, peace out. Cryptographic. Keep on cryptoing. See you, CryptoTubers. Bye.